Hello, you lovely humans. I bought the HitFilm Express Puppet Tool add-on a few months ago, and I've been avoiding using it because I couldn't get it to work quite like the HitFilm Express tutorial uh, said it should. So I've just had a little play with it, and I thought I'd make this very basic, quick tutorial to show you um, how I overcame the problems that you may be having. So here I have my trimmer, viewer, timeline and um, media effects and controls and everything. It's probably not the best setup, but that's me wasting your time. OK, so I'm going to take in a picture, a PNG with an alpha channel. So it is a transparent image and I'm just going to resize it. So I've resized the girl in the window. Uh, now I'm going to go to my effects panel, take the puppet tool and simply drag it onto the image. Then you go into controls. The first thing you need to do, and the only thing you can do is generate mesh. So you press that button. Now on the tutorial online, it, you can see all the, the green triangles, um, but you can't see this yet. What you need to do is where it says animate, change it to edit. Now this is where I got a little bit confused because you have to switch back and forth to these and I wasn't paying too much attention. So I got a bit lost. Now. You can see you can adjust the expansion and the tessellation of the triangles, which you can now see now that you're in edit mode. So the one thing you'll notice that is missing from um, from this that the HitFilm Express Christmas card tutorial said would be uh, would be number of anchor points that you could change, and they would appear and you would drag them. Um, but this isn't the case for some reason. Um, as it is now, you just click them in. So you need to be in edit and then you just take your cursor and click them in and you'll see there, there is now an anchor point. It's not easy to see because of the picture I'm using, but there it is. So now, uh, you want to create as many anchor points as you need. So I've got one here on the end. I'm going to do one at the shoulder, other shoulder, other hand neck, head, bottom of the torso, and then each foot. And you see we've got our anchor points there. Now you won't be able to move them or do anything with them until you go back to here and switch back from edit to animate. Now you're in animate, you can move them. So you need to highlight the, you need to click exactly on there, on the anchor point, and then you can move it. And you can do the same here. Now, if you'll notice with the image I'm using, if you move it here, some of it disappears. Now that's because the image itself is only, it is in these dimensions. So for some reason, it's not taking the animation tool or the, the image outside of that box. So what you need to do is go into your image editing software and you need to create a duplicate of that, another PNG with transparency, but just put it in the canvas of the screen size you're using. So if we go to this composite shot that I've made, and we take in the new picture that's been edited so that there's more background, and then we get to do the effect again, just so we run it through it one more time drag the puppet tool onto the image, go to controls, generate mesh. You won't be able to see it until you change from animate to edit. And then the anchor points, you click on yourself while you're in the edit mode. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So just doing really simple. And now again, go back from edit to animate, hover over your anchor point, and then you can move it. And you can see it all. And you can stretch it all the way over here, or all the way over there. That's pretty cool. It goes behind her back, which I hadn't tried before. That is pretty cool. 
Okay, if you want to get rid of a control point, um, you go back into edit again, and then you can just drag the control point off the screen, and that should get rid of it here. Um, but the main thing to keep an eye on is your edit to animate, because that's where I got confused. And the putting the anchor points on is different from the tutorial that's on YouTube. So if you've been having problems, hopefully this will sort it out for you. Uh, I won't go into the keyframing because you know all that already. Uh, so have a lovely day and happy animating.